Hello guys, it's Miss Jokes here, and today we are going to do a drawing just like Kevin Hinkie's. This is called the directed drawing, where I show you what to do and you follow along. Alright, so you're going to need a white piece of paper, some kind of writing tool, a crayon, a marker. I'm going to use a Sharpie. Okay, so here is the first thing we are going to do once you have all your materials together. First thing we're going to do is start off with two dots at the top, one here, and one here. Then we're going to put one dot towards the bottom, just like that. Okay? The next thing that we are going to do is we're going to connect the dots to form a triangle. I'm going to draw one here. Okay. Connect these dots and connect these dots. Perfect. Next step in our drawing is now we're going to add two large circles for the ears. So up here at the top I'm going to start on this dot and I'm going to add a big circle. Whoops. Now another one over here. Whoopsie daisy. Okay. And now I'm going to add a circle down here for the nose. So we're turning our drawing into a Kevin Hinkie's character. Alright. Now we're going to add two inner circles for the ears. So you're going to start on the dot again. And you're going to do just a smaller circle inside the bigger circle. Like that. Again over here. Perfect. And then you're going to do two small eyes for your character. Now oh, it's starting to look like something now. Okay. All right. Now our character is really going to come to life. Now we're going to do two bigger circles around the character's eyes. One. Two. And now we're going to add some whiskers. This side. Make those a little bit longer so they match the other side. And it doesn't have to be perfect. As you can see, mine is not perfect and that's okay. Now we're going to add a body for our character so we have its face so I'm just going to start right about here underneath this bottom whisker and do kind of like a curved line all the way to the bottom. I'm going to do the same thing on this side. Curved all the way to the bottom. And since this character is a mouse we're going to add a little tail. So start right about here. You're going to do a swoop up and keep it a pointy edge right there and swoop back down and now we have our tail all right now if you want to leave it like this you can or you can get your colors out and you can color your character I'm going to use some watercolors that I have right here and I'm going to add some color to my character so I have my watercolor paints I have my paintbrush right here, and I have a cup of water to help get the paint wet. So I am going to turn my little mouse character. I'm going to use brown for his, his or her face. Oh, that's kind of red, isn't it? Let me make sure that brush is clean. Let's try that again. Well, it's kind of reddish brown so that is great so I'm just gonna add some color I'm gonna make sure I don't color the characters eyes because I want to leave those white All 
I love to use watercolors to paint because it's quick and it's easy and it's definitely less messy. I like to use other paints to paint too, but watercolors are probably my favorite to use in the classroom or at home. Okay, I'm almost got his face finished. Be real careful around those eyes. Okay. Okay, looking pretty good. All right, now I'm going to add a little bit of pink. I'm going to switch to a smaller brush right here. I'm going to dip it in my water. Get a little bit of pink for the inside of his mouse ears. And I used a smaller brush so I can really squeeze in there and get <clears throat> those little small spots for the ears because they're kind of little. Now if you don't have any of uh, watercolors at home, that's fine. You can use anything you have around your house. Markers, crayons, colored pencils. Maybe you have different colored pens. Any kind of tool you have, you can use. Chalk. I know a lot of you have sidewalk chalk at home. You could even use chalk on this if you wanted to. All right, there's that. I'm going to go back to my big brush with my brown again. And I'm going to get the outside of the ears. And while I'm doing this, I'm going to be thinking about what color I want to do my character's shirt. Hmm, I think I would like my character, this is a Kevin Hinkies inspired character, and I think I want mine to be a girl, because I'm a girl, and I'm going to do my shirt, I think purple, but first let me do my mouse's nose, I'm going to do pink for the little mouse nose. Okay, all right, so now I'm going to wash off my brush. I've got a little paper towel over here. All right, now I'm going to do purple for the shirt. Let's see what that looks like. Wow, that's pretty. I like that. Hmm, I'm trying to think what I should name my character. I'm not sure. I love all of uh, Kevin Hinkie's character names. I think they're so cool, like Chrysanthemum, Sheila Ray, Lily, Owen, Chester. They're very different names, and I think that's really cool. So I want to think of a really different name for this character. Some some kind of name that I think um, Kevin Hinkies would have used if he made this character himself. Let's see, let's get my shirt all colored in there. Okay. And the last thing I have left is the tail. I think I'm going to go with brown again like I did for her face. Okay, rinse my brush off. Go back to the brown. Let's get her tail all colored in. Perfect. Okay. Well, I am done with my Kevin Hinkies inspired character, mouse character. And while I was painting, I thought about naming her Gwendolyn. That sounds like a name that 
Kevin Hinkies would have used on this character. So here is my Kevin Hinkies inspired character, Gwendolyn. I hope you enjoyed this uh, direct drawing lesson, and I hope you have fun with it like I did. I'll see you next time.